I found these at the flea market. One was free, one was 50 cents. Um, pretty, pretty bad here. Um, I don't want to do anything crazy, um, so I'm just gonna try to slowly clean these things up. Um, so the first thing I can think of is I'm just gonna put them in some Wait for mineral me. oil and just uh, let them soak 24 hours around there and see what happens. So we'll leave it here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and try this uh, WD-40 specialist uh, cleaner and degreaser. Uh, it says it's uh, safe on plastics, so we're gonna try to soak uh, the pocket knives maybe. Okay, I'm gonna see if they'll, uh, any of the blades will come off, or I'm gonna see if any of the blades will uh, loosen up here. <sighs> no, there's so much rust, so much rust packed in there. I might have to go with the vinegar and try to eat some of that rust away because I can't pull these blades up right now. Let's try the other one. That one raised out a little bit. That's good. Good, good, good. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in there uh, for uh, another night and see uh, what happens. I don't wanna force this up too hard right now. I'll leave that open. Actually, let me try this other one. Looks like it. Get this other blade open as well. Ooh. No, the other one's stuck still. That one raised, so I'll go ahead and put them back in for another night. I'm gonna see if I can open this one a little bit more here. It's opening more. It's pretty tight on there. I don't wanna break the blade off or something. So that's all I'm gonna do. I think the next step is probably gonna be vinegar to get some of this rust off. Um, let me check the other one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's coming up. Maybe I should have done the vinegar first, but I was thinking that the vinegar might damage uh, some of this advertising and stuff. So, Let's hope it doesn't damage that, but my next step is going to be the vinegar, and we'll see what happens from there. All right, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put the vinegar in. And we'll leave this uh, overnight again and check it in the morning and see what's going on. Hopefully the vinegar doesn't destroy the scales. We shall see. Okay, it's been overnight in the vinegar. Looks like we got some action going here. Let me see. Some, yeah, we got some stuff going on here. Let's see. It's starting to look a little better. Now, I'm wondering if this other blade's going to come out. Alright, let me see here. Whoa! This one's moving more. Okay, we got that all the way out. I'm going to close it most part there and see if I can get this other one out mm, not too easily let me see here ah, shoot it's not coming out that easily I was hoping it would let me see here we go. Got the pin blade out. It's moving slow. I'm not going to pull it too much. Uh, we're going to go uh, another night in the vinegar, I think. <clears throat> and hopefully that rust around here will dissolve. It looks like the uh, bolsters here are almost copper looking so I don't know if that can be buffed off we'll see kind of neat looking in a way all right let's check the other knife this one's coming along it looks like it it's got some good possibilities here from where it was to now so okay doesn't look like the scales were damaged too much you can still see the writing on it uh, I mean, it doesn't look that great either so. but we'll see I'm gonna see if I can get these blades to come out finally it might take another session of being in the vinegar And I would like to see the maker's mark on this, if possible. It's not happening with this. Those blades aren't coming out yet. All right, actually what I'm gonna do is go ahead and soak these a little bit. Both of these in uh, some regular old WD-40 and uh, see what happens tomorrow. the knives sit in the WD-40 for a couple of hours and uh, not much is changing but I'm just starting to kind of pick around going in through the knife and pick 
pick as much of that rust out as I can. Okay guys, I'm gonna uh, put some vinegar in this ultrasonic cleaner and we're gonna give that a go. Um, I'll uh, pulse the cleaner every once in a while, but I'm probably gonna leave it in the vinegar overnight again. And uh, I probably should be using some vapor rust, the vapor rust, the vapor rust. Um, it would probably solve this dilemma here, but. I don't have any, so I'm just going to try everything that I have, and uh, hopefully little by little those blades will loosen and uh, we'll have a uh, usable knife. Day bar is looking good, so we shall see what happens to be continued. Okay guys, I took them out and I'm all done with the, the pocket knives. They look pretty good. Uh, this The uh, lettering came off here though. No, I'm just kidding guys. These are some different pocket knives. I wish they turned out like that. I just thought I'd mesh with your brain a little bit. To be continued, the other ones are over here. Still sitting in there. Okay, it definitely looks like We've got some gunk floating up to the top here, so something's going on. Let me uh, pull these out and see if anything happened. I mean, it looks a little better on this one. I mean, some of this deeper gunk. I'm starting to see some sort of a tang stamp there. So that's good. But I'm really more concerned with this one because I'm hoping it's enough to get one of these blades loose. So let's check it out. Hope for the best here. Oh man, that thing is just stuck. Oh man. I hate to give up on this one, but dang, it is stuck. Might just have to focus on the other one. That's just not budging. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might just continue with the other one and see if I can get this one cleaned up and just kind of throw this one on the back burner. I'm just going to maybe keep putting it in a rest bath and, and uh, see what happens. Uh, I don't really want to go buy any stuff. Um, I think a vapor rust would probably work, but I'm not going to go buy stuff. Um, anyways, so we'll concentrate on this. I'm going to take the Dremel. Maybe I'll take the Dremel and clean this one up a little bit, and then clean this just the outside part of this one up for now, and then we'll go from there.
Okay guys, uh, the K-Bar is pretty much done. I finished that, I'll show you it later. But I still have this one to contend with. And uh, still can't get these blades loose. Uh, what I've been doing is uh, coming through here and picking around it and kind of getting a shim and trying to get in through here and loosen these up. Been just trying to wobble the blades a little bit to loosen that gunk up in there. Okay guys, <clears throat> this knife went back into the uh, WD-40 for a little bit and then it went back into the rust bath for a little bit and it was still pretty stuck and then I started kind of banging it around a little bit and kept working it with it and I'm starting to finally get this little pin blade out. It's just starting to peek out so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys where I'm at before it if I can even get the whole thing out, but it's starting to pull right there. So, it'd be a miracle if it comes all the way out. There we go. Ah, I can't believe it. Finally. Oh my God. There it is. There it is. Okay. The pin blade is unearthed. Sweet. Let's see if I can pull it all the way out now. You know, it wants to stop right there, but I'm good with that. Um, I'm going to tuck it back in. If I can, <laughs> this thing, I just want to go back in. Ooh, man, that's stiff in there. Okay, so. I'm gonna try to pull this larger blade in back out now. It's starting to come out. Whew. I'm using all my might to try to get this out. I hope it doesn't break. But the blade looks pretty good. There we go. Yes. That's awesome. Finally. Yeah. All right. Let's see how far it goes. Yep. Going all the way out. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to start to clean this up a little bit more and uh, pretty soon this project will be done. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, I am done. This is as far as I can get these guys. Um, there's a lot of pitting. This is an Imperial. It's kind of hard to see, but I think it, you know, 
it's not bad it's not bad there's not really much snap left in this blade um, this one a little bit I mean it held up pretty good considering all the stuff I put it through um, this one turned out pretty good I think but uh you know a lot of pitting it's actually still a usable knife see the k-bar there tons of pitting has a little bit of snap left in it which I'm surprised um, I did sharpen them a little bit you can uh, give it a little test here Pretty sharp. And then we'll test this one. Still usable. They're back in business again. I'll, uh, Show you guys some pictures here in a second of how these used to look with all the rest and we'll compare them thanks for watching guys bye Thank you.